Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Joe back with another video, man. And today I'm here to just talk about this huge trade thing with the Bucks uh, for Tony Snell. Uh, he's been on the team now for like three years, but then, like, you know, but then now uh, we just agreed uh, to trade him to Detroit for John Lure. And, um, yeah. And for the uh and for the number thirtieth pick, uh for for like you know for whoever's gonna watch the NBA draft tomorrow, I'm excited, dude. I'm excited just to watch it. This is a like you know a every uh every year thing for me just to like you know sit down watch the draft uh, and chill out. But yeah, guys. But like I've just made this official. This channel will be only NBA. That's it. Nothing else. It'll just be about NBA. And then and what I'm going to talk to you guys about is about Tony Snow getting traded. And and why that, uh, that doesn't really, like, you know, affect me that much. So, yeah, guys. So, so here's another video. So, yeah. My honest opinion about, you know, Tony Snow, you know, leaving the Bucks. He, he, all right, look. He, he, he didn't really get like like you know too much playing time and then like you know he, he didn't really like uh really like you know contribute that much to like this you know box team but, but i mean it, it's just a bench player honestly john uh john lord though he, he's a big guy he also though gets a lot of uh playing time which uh since he's coming here he he won't even get a lot of playing time really he'll just be on the bench <laughs> so yeah so then like so I, honestly so then like since the bucks you know traded tony snell to the pistons for uh for john lord it was just to clear up like you know cap space is because like you know well they just saved five million dollars in salary this year and um and I won't have Tony Snell salary, which which the Bucks were giving him twelve million dollars, dude. But like, dude, like I would love, bro, just bro, have that job, sit on the bench and still get paid, like, dude, like twelve million dollars, dude. The Bucks literally paid this guy twelve million dollars. I was like, what? But yeah, dude. What I mean, what I mean, getting the uh, getting the. Number 30th pick. I mean, it's just really nothing, really, because, like, well, like, if you get, like, the final pick in the draft, it's not really about, like, you know, too important. Everybody just cares about, like, you know, like, the first pick and through probably pick number 10, maybe 15. But, yeah, dude, but, uh, yeah, I, I truly believe, dude, next year, dude, like, dude, like, this Bucks team, they're just gonna go crazy, bro. I feel like I don't know. I feel like I'm glad that like uh, but like, you know Tony Snell, but like you know got just traded because then that means that we can have more like you know money just to resign players. Like uh, like for example, we could you know resign Brook like you know Brook Lopez. We could uh, we could resign Brogdon. We could like you know use that money towards like you know Middleton, but. The, uh, but there's a lot of Bucks fans saying that, like, you know, we should just let Chris Middleton walk. And, and my opinion on that, bro, is just, like, why? Why do you want Chris Middleton, dude, just to leave us, dude? He's, like, seriously, bro, um, he's the second best player, dude, on the team. And then the third one's Brogdon. Like, dude, like, no, dude, honestly, for... All the Bucks fans do who, who who say that, bro. But like, you must be. I don't even know, but but yeah, I do. But like, that's gonna do it, guys, for for this video. I just want to talk about Tony Snell getting traded, which like it's probably you know not so much you know interesting because like you know like, he's a bench player, so it's like he he don't even get time. So yeah, so all right, guys. Uh, that's it for me. Make sure to subscribe down below. Turn on post notifications. 
uh, when to see when I upload another video. And it's Benjamin Joe, and I'm out. Go Bucks.